What up? What up? So this is going to be a two-part video inspired by one of my favorite actresses of all time, and that is Brigitte Bardot. And you are watching part one right now, which is the makeup. And part two will be the hair. So for the makeup video, I'm going to put the link in the sidebar to the picture that inspired me to do this look. And the one thing that stood out to me was her lips, which were this peachy coral color with a lot of shine. So I kind of did that on my lips. And then I put my own little twist on the eyes. She did have a black smoky eye, but I decided to make it a pinup girl winged out dramatic eye. And I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial, and if you want to find out how to get this makeup look, just keep watching. I'm going to start off with a base that's similar to my skin shade. This is Groundwork Paint Pot by MAC. And this is basically a taupey color. A little bit of shimmer. But this is the closest thing to my skin shade. So I'm just going to take it on my ring finger. Just like that. And then I'm going to apply this just on the lid and the brow bone. We're not going to put any underneath the eye because we're not going to be putting any shadow there. And you don't need a heavy layer. You just need a light coating of this because we are going to be using matte eyeshadows. So we don't want the shine in the base to overpower the eyeshadows. I'm just going to do the same thing on the other eye. So take an eyeshadow brush and I'm going to go in with this color right here. This is called Angel Food and it's by Clinique and it's basically just a matte cream colored eyeshadow. And I'm going to just put that on the brush. You can't really see it, but when I put it on my eye, you'll see the matteness of it. So I'm just basically putting that all over my lid and up to my brow, almost as if I was setting that base. Now take a blending brush. I'm going to be using my MAC 217 and I already put some of the eyeshadow on it. This is Espresso by MAC and it's just a matte dark brown eyeshadow. And I'm going to just lightly make a receding crease sort of effect. So as you can see I'm barely putting any pressure on the brush. Now take any angled brush that you own. This one is by Essential Beauty, and I don't remember where I got it, but if I do remember, I'll put the link in the sidebar. So I'm going to use a gel liner for the eye. You don't have to use gel liner. You can use liquid liner, you can use pencil, black eyeshadow even, but this is by Bare Essentials. This is the Buxom Lash Liner in Leatherette. And I'm going to take my angled brush and instead of like stroking it in there, I'm going to sort of just pat it in and then wipe off the edges. So I'm going to start out on the outer corner just because that's easier for me. It's all about preference. I'm just going to stamp it on. We're first going to make the lash line one even um, thickness, then we're going to thicken out the outer corner. I'm going to line it up with my lower lash line, so you see this right here. I'm going to take the edge of this and sort of bring it out. And it's all about preference how high you want to bring this out. I'm going to line it up with my, with this crease line right here. And 
and then just fill everything in. If you want to make it more dramatic, which I'm going to do, I'm going to bring it out way far. <laughs> And since we are going for a really matte look, I'm going to go ahead and take a matte black eyeshadow. This is by L'Oreal and this is called Lush Raven. And I'm just going to take the same angled brush and just go over that black liner just to set it so that way everything is matte on the eyes. And the eyelashes that I'm going to be using are from Ardell. These are the 104s. And I don't want to use super thick lashes because I don't want the attention to be taken away from this really nice dramatic like cat eye almost, like the angle. So I'm going to be using these. These are long, but they're not thick. So I like these. And then they're really separated also. I'm going to go back to the same brush that I used for my primer and my concealer and I'm going to take my select SPF 15 foundation. I'm going to do a stripe here, stripe here, across the bottom and the top. Then I'm just going to blend this out. And once you have your foundation on, we want to keep the face matte and we want to keep it as pale as we can without looking over pale. This is called Tahitian Sand Beauty Powder. This is by MAC and it came out with the Hello Kitty collection. And this powder is pretty light. I mean, it's lighter than my skin tone. So this goes on pretty translucent too. So I'm just going to take it with a kabuki brush and swirl it in there and just buff that all over my face. Also to set the foundation. I'm going to take a matte blush and this blush is like a like a maroon color and I'm going to use a tiny bit. So I'm going to use the same kabuki brush because with a kabuki brush if I apply blush on it I won't get a whole lot of color as if I were to use a blush brush. And this is also by MAC. This is called Raisin. And let me show you how I'm going to do this. So I'm going to take the blush and then with the kabuki, I know, see that size difference? Swirl it in there maybe like once. And then this is probably going to be enough for both cheeks. So I'm going to pat, pat. And then with the edge of the brush, just blend it out because we don't want a lot of color. The face is done. All that's left to do is the lips. So I'm going to zoom you guys in for the lips. And her lips in the picture are really coral, but like a pale coral. So I'm going to start off with a, I guess, toffee colored lip liner. This is called Strip Down. And this is the lip liner that I got in my very first video. And this is from the haul. So I'm going to line my lips. But I'm not going to line the inside, just the out outer part of the lips. I'm going to take a pale coral lipstick. This is by NYX and this is called Orange Soda and as you can see it's a really bright pale coral and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my ring finger and just put it on there like that and put that on my lips about it. Take a like a bronzy colored um, lip gloss. This is by Mac, and this is called Oh Baby. <laughs> and I'm just and this isn't going to cancel out that coral color. Surprisingly, it's just going to add some shine. And there you have it. So there's your Brigitte Bardot inspired makeup. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And remember to stay tuned for part two of the video. So if you want to watch part two, I'll put the link in the sidebar. And I hope you guys enjoy it. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.